Back, it's Tyler at Green Mountain CrossFit. Uh, I'm here with a friend of mine, Mujib, today from North Country Kettlebells. Um, we've got some kettlebell snatches on the docket, and a lot of people uh, complain about this because we end up with this very straight arm kind of a swing, and the kettlebell ends up flopping over uh, and back onto the wrist, and you guys end up with a ton of bruises, and you whine about these. So uh, I brought Mujib in today. Hopefully, we can take care of some of these. Uh, we want to take about uh, talk about two different things. We're going to talk first about a drill called the hand insertion drill, um, and then second about the dismount and how that sets us up for the second rep. So, uh, would you mind introducing hand insertion drill for us, would you? Absolutely. Um, as far as the hand insertion goes, first thing that you want to think about is having a very comfortable uh, swing hinge, right? So I want to think that my swing mechanics are first pretty spot on. I don't want the kettlebell to feel like I'm yanking it up. I don't want to feel like I'm going down too deep. And then once I get that like weightless float, I can start to add this little bit of a insertion as if I'm essentially taking the kettlebell from this position and sliding my hand into it and then sliding my hand back out of it. Awesome. So what you're saying is, is if my swing is really rigid and I'm out here and trying to muscle this kettlebell, I'm not going to have any way to get through right. the kettlebell, right? So I've got to be a little bit more relaxed with the swing and make sure that we're driving from the hip and that's a little bit more comfortable. Exactly, and right? if I might just apply that also to the overhead swing. Yeah, please. If I'm thinking about my overhead swing, I'm really trying to get that float to allow me that full extension. I want that float to be here too, just as if I were going to try to go overhead but instead going here. So as your hand comes through the handle in that hand insertion drill, that stays the same in the snatch, right? My hand still goes through the handle here and then follows the kettlebell up, is that right? Exactly, exactly. Right, so I end up with a movement that uh, comes through the handle in the middle of the swing and it's smooth up overhead versus a very rigid overhead swing that bashes the uh, forearms. Don't do that at home, kids. Uh, no bueno, right? <laughs> cool. So that gets us up overhead. Can we talk a little bit about the dismount and how that helps to set us up? What are we looking for Absolutely. bringing the kettlebell back down? I always like to tell people that the kettlebell snatch or anything like a swing has a photographic position. So if I can think about that hand insertion, this point, as being my photographic position, then essentially when I'm coming back down from my swing, from my snatch, I'm basically coming back to that photographic position. Got it. So that even though I'm coming back down and there's a big range of motion, I'm not throwing this thing way out there. I'm not bringing my arm back straight down. I'm basically occupying this same space on the way down. Now, this gets a little bit tricky because people often say, like, how do I get the kettlebell to come back over? Right. So. Because obviously the kettlebell went over in the first place, right? right yeah. Right. So. So when I come down, what I like to think about with my dismounts is that I'm essentially taking my palm from being in this position and I'm rolling it over to being almost like palm up. Okay. And this is a little bit tricky, but what it allows is for the kettlebell to just fall on its natural path back into my backswing. So again, upswing, letting it naturally come back. Also notice that I'm slightly leaning back again. Right. Just like I don't want my one-handed swing to be rigid and out here I want it to be set back set into my heels, full hip extension, I want to come back to that same point here, just like I was at the top of my one-handed swing. So easy ways, thinking about palm up, arm coming back to the body, and then coming back through that same back swing position. Always thinking about the arm being as connected to the body as possible. Wonderful. So it's like there's this magical point right here where the kettlebell floats, right? And kettlebells do float, boys and girls. The kettlebell floats right in the middle. Uh, and that's where our hand can go through on the way up to make that a smoother transition to overhead. And it's where we find ourselves adjusting our hand position again on the way down to come back into that swing mechanic, right? Cool, awesome. Uh, so hopefully that helps you guys out. If you have other questions uh, or you want to find out more about kettlebells and kettlebell training, Mujib is the resident, resident kettlebell ninja at uh, Green Mountain Crossway. Where can they go to find out more about you? Uh, www.northcountrykettlebells.com Awesome. Couldn't uh, end the video without letting you plug that. So, awesome. Thanks, Mujib. Yeah, I'll see you around the gym.